Hi everyone, I'm back again with a new tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to create a flipbook with pure CSS. Let me show you quickly what I have here. There, so I will show you now how I came up with this. Let's start. As usual, I already prepared a simple web page. I have also added here a script for my font awesome kit because I'll be using the chevron icons for the previous and next button. I have also added here the sample images that I'll be using later on. Going back, you can see here that I have added a book container with a cover. What I'm gonna show you now is how to add the back cover and the first page of the book. To add a back cover, let's copy this line and change the class name to back cover. Then. It should also be the same with the front cover, but the only difference is that the front cover should be positioned absolute. So let's add a position and Z index for the front cover. Then, as you can see, the sizing is not correct, so let's add a position relative to the book container. There. Forget to add a Z index here. Let's add one for now since it will be at the top and the back cover should be positioned relative and has negative Z index since it will be staying at the back. There. there. Next we add the page. Okay. So for the page Let's add a temporary Z index too so I can show you. So let's add a white background to the page. Then let's add a width and height. And it should also be positioned absolute. There. Let's also not forget the border ranges. So there. Okay, let's reduce the width and height for 30. And let's add the margin top. There, we have added now a back cover and the first page. Now that we have the front cover, the page, and the back cover, we will now work on adding a transition for flipping the front cover. So let's put this page under the cover so let's update the z index to 1 and change the cover z index to 2 then in order to do the flipping for the cover page i will use an input box i mean an input checkbox so let's add an input checkbox here then let's add an id Let's use checkbox cover. And we will add the label inside the cover so it will trigger the checking of the checkbox. Oh, sorry. Should be label. Label. Then let's use for the, this ID. There. And now we need to hide this checkbox, so let's add a display none for that. There. And for the cover label, we need to add a width and height of 100% so the user can click anywhere. So width and height. Then let's add a cursor pointer for that. There. Then next, so when the user clicks the label, it should check the checkbox and flip the cover. So checkbox cover is checked. Then it will target the book cover. We should add um, a transform to rotate um, to rotate it horizontally. So let's add transform 
um, rotate the x-axis I mean the y-axis to 180 okay. then let's try it first you can see it but as you can see it has been flipped so what we need to do now is push the book or the back cover and the page to the right so let's add wait a minute let's add um, a transform translate for the book for the x-axis and let's move it to 200 there so it will move so as you can see it's moving what we need to do now is put the front cover to the left in order to do that we'll need to add um, a transform origin to the cover Where's that? so let's add a transform origin center and left let's try there so it's the flipping is not really smooth so we'll need to add um, a transition so let's add a transition for the transform let's add the one second duration and then we'll, we'll also need to add um, a transition for the book here I have already added and then let's add a perspective let's try now there the cover page is now flipping next we need to add um, a transition for flipping the the first page so we'll add more page now since we're going to add multiple pages, we'll need a front page and a back page for each page. Let me just add the pages quickly. There. You can see here that I have added an ID attribute for each page. Then I have added a label next for the front page and then label previous for the back page. They will serve as the next and previous buttons for each page. As for the third page, We'll only need a front page since it is the last page. Next, we'll need to add an input checkbox for each page added. So I'll need to add three more here. Page 1. Then for page 2 and 3. I'll also need to add a temporary checked attribute here so you can see me how to style each page. there for each page added we'll need to add Z index for page 1 since there are a total of 3 pages the Z index for page 1 should be 3 since it will be at the top then for page 2 is 2 then for page 3 will be 1. I'll change the Z index for the cover to be 4 since it will be at the top. There. For the next minute, I'll be adding styling to the page.
Now that we're done styling the pages, let's add transition for flipping them. Let me just remove this Z index here since we already added their individual Z index. And I'll just add a transform here to rotate the page. Transform. Rotate. 180. Oops, this should be. There. Then, we'll do the same for the other checkboxes, for the other pages, as what we did on, for the cover page. So, let's add page 1 here. This one should be page 1. Then, we'll add Z index. We'll change them to lower volume. So, this one will be 2. And the cover page should be 1. Then for page 3, I mean for page 2, it should be... Oops. This should be 3. There, let's try this one. Oh, and for I forgot to add transitions to the page. So we'll add transform origin region left and since we're dealing with Z index we need to add transform style style preserve 3D and then transform rotate Y zero degree then transition duration duration for 1.5 second then let's then let's remove the checked attribute here and let's try since it's not smooth we need to add transition when the cover is checked so let's add transition for transition or transform 1.5 second and z index 0.5 s and let's add delay let's try again there and as you can see we need to flip the border edges here so let me add that quickly it looks like I only needed to update the border edges to this volume then for final touch I have added this CSS here for depth effect